Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got two stories to go over with you guys. One's about the MacBook Pro, one's about WWDC. Side story here, if you guys have the 2018 MacBook Pros, uh, I think the 15 inch, if you already installed macOS 10.14.5, uh, there is a supplemental update, which just came out. Uh, as you guys can see right here, this fixes stuff with the T2 chip. Apparently people were having issues where their Mac was just crashing all the time. So this should fix that. So definitely go do that update. And of course, if you use Firefox, do an update on that. Yesterday, version 67 came out and it is great. So anyways, on to the news. First off, Apple decided to unleash a brand new MacBook Pro for 2019 on us. And we really had no idea it was coming. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it is eight cores. This is an eight core MacBook Pro on the 15 inch model. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I can't imagine how hot and how much thermal throttling there's gonna be on this thing, but it does seem pretty nice overall. Like if I was in the market, this is the one I would get, of course. Um, but yeah, it's up to 40% faster than the six core MacBook Pro and up to two times faster than the quad core MacBook Pro. So this thing can pack a punch. Also, the other thing that's changed is the keyboard. Apple says that they have improved the keyboard, the butterfly mechanism uh, right here with from new materials. So it shouldn't fail as much, but they've been saying this forever. So who knows? Other than that, it looks exactly the same. They have not made any changes. We're thinking that's coming next year or the year after, probably next year though. So we'll probably see a whole chassis redesign, which will be nice because hopefully they can get rid of some of the thermal throttling. All right, let's go on to WWDC 2019 here. Now this is super exciting. Uh, I am so pumped and ready for this. So a couple weeks here, we're gonna have WWDC 2019 where Apple is going to drop iOS 13 for us and it will be available for developers, uh, beta one obviously uh, on that day. And then maybe that day or later in the week or the next week, we will see the public beta. And that's the one I'm getting on. So uh, it's probably gonna be pretty buggy, but you know what, it's gonna be fun. So I was thinking what could possibly be in this uh, invite here, you know, and the more I think about it, I mean, obviously it means dark mode because everything's dark with like a neon. Now I really don't think they're gonna redesign app icons with neon stuff. However, in their WWDC app, which you guys can download from the app store, it's kind of useless unless you're going to it, but in there you can customize different icons in it and they're all neon as well. So maybe it's a theme, maybe they're gonna switch it up. I don't know, but I think every icon in here symbolizes something that's going to get changed in iOS 13. So we can see the Swift icon. Obviously that's probably gonna get some improvements. The Mac Pro right here, probably gonna get improvements. We already know that Apple Maps is getting some improvements. iMessage right here. I was looking for a volume HUD because we know that's getting redesigned, but couldn't find it. I found some loading icons though. Uh, wrench, obviously, what is this control center or whatever it's called, the share sheets, the app store, charging even. There's actually a lot hidden in this uh, invite, which I kind of like. It's always fun to go through it. Um, but let me know what you guys are most excited for at this event. I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool, just as it always is. So anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.